Hey everyone, so I've got a, a bit of a fun show to talk to you about today. Literally two minutes ago, I just finished watching the CBeebies Panto for 2011. It's on iPlayer now. And this year's one is Strictly Cinderella. Now, I have seen two Cinderella Pantos this year already. I was thinking, a third one? Really, is it going to show me something that I've not seen before already? It's completely original. It was absolutely fantastic. First of all, I love the concept of getting all the CBeebies presenters and actors together to do this panto for the kids. I hadn't seen the other one, I'm sure they did Aladdin two years ago and I hadn't really seen it much so I wasn't really too sure of the format of what to expect. I haven't seen it, it's absolutely sensational. It's it's set in three places shall we say. Um, you have the live stage one where they're basically on an actual stage with an audience of children and that's lovely to see the children's reactions and really gives it that panto feel so you're not just watching an actual TV show you are actually watching a panto and um, then you have a few like snippet of clips from sets and then you have the ones that are set in the Strictly studio which is pretty phenomenal to see you've got the cast well the, everybody from CBeebies dancing in the Strictly ballroom it's a bit of a weird concept for me personally what makes this flawless is the, the cast because a lot of the CBeebies presenters and personalities are very iconic for my, my career and my career progression um, but sort of taking that outside I am obviously not the target audience we'll look at the cast in a moment but obviously I'm not the target audience so it needs elements more than just a strong cast to make it great it kind of takes the traditional Cinderella plot it kind of tones it down slightly you still have all the main characters you know you have the ugly stepsisters you, you have the stepmother in there, you have the fairy godmother, it has buttons because no panto would be a panto without buttons um, you know you have Dandini and Prince Charming um, there's still the hard ups which is a, a joke that I will never stop finding funny especially when you um, see who plays Baron Hardup again more on that soon and it's basically the, the general story of Cinderella's father marries this woman with these two daughters and they try and make life help for Cinderella. She can't go to the ball. She wants to go to the ball. The fairy godmother makes it possible for her to go to the ball. Then the prince, she leaves her slipper and the prince has to then go and try and find her and marry the person for whom that slipper should fit. And it's a very interesting story, of course it is. Um, but what makes this a non-typical, bit of an atypical panto is the fact that you have so many intertextual references within it for both Strictly Come Dancing and of course CBeebies. I'll be honest, the fact that it's connected with Strictly Come Dancing is a, a little bit peculiar and not something I would have ever imagined happening. You know, CBeebies, Strictly, a bit odd. But it does work exceptionally well and you can see how it fits in because the Strictly Ballroom is actually the ball that the Prince holds. Um, although that, it's, there's not a strong emphasis on the fact that's his. We don't get to see much of the Prince's power. Um, so it does make it more of a, a normal love story because it kind of makes it less complicated for the kids if they don't have to understand the fact that the prince has money and well, well, well he's wealthy, he has money of course um, but he's wealthy in many other ways as well um, so I do like that a lot, so we'll, we'll take a look at the cast and I've got a few specific points I want to talk about now this does, I'm trying to think of any particular CBeebies personality who wasn't in this but I actually can't, I literally think they've incorporated all of them and many many of my favourites, um, so I'll just take you through pretty much all of the characters, I won't mention all of them um, first of all Dandini, Sid played Dandini, sensational Dandini is my favourite character from Cinderella and Sid is phenomenal, he is flawless and Prince Char Charming was played by Alex, it's Alex Winters um, really interesting role, it's always nice to see who plays the prince I've seen some pretty peculiar princes in my time but I think this character worked pretty well. Um, Cinderella, um, Katrina Bryan played Cinderella. She is, you may know her more so as Nina in the Neurons. She is a fantastic ambassador for children's TV within the Scottish sector. Um, she's great. That's not an official title, by the way. Um, I do adore her fantastically. She is brilliant. And as Cinderella, couldn't have chosen a better person to play Cinders. Um, Baron Hardup, this is my favourite one. Baron Hardup was played by Chris Jarvis. Chris has been an iconic presenter in my life for as long as I can remember. I made the decision that I wanted a career in kids TV presenting when I was about nine years old. Um, so he and also Poi, Poi Funnily who plays Baroness Bossy Nova, um, have both been pretty central in my life. I actually was fortunate to see them doing um, the Show Me Show Me Roadshow last, no this year in fact because I took my sister, I, I had an excuse, I have a younger sister and I went to see them and I was I was nearly passing out halfway through, I was so excited, I was like, it's Poi and Chris, you know, proper iconic childhood presenters for me, and I, I, I'm hoping to go and see them again next year, but I think my sister doesn't want to go back, so I need to just 
find a random child and take them because I want to go back. Um, yeah, you also have uh, Macarena and Tumbelina, which brings in the CBeebies element there because um, Macarena and Tumbelina are played by Phil Gallagher, who you will probably more know as Mr. Maker. Um, I'm sure all of you know who Mr. Maker is. And also um, Justin Fletcher plays Tumbelina, who plays Mr. Tumble. Um, Mr. Tumble is a bit of a weird character. Justin Fletcher is such a treasure for CBeebies. He has done so much for that show and he is, he's just a bundle of talent. He's just never ending. It's absolutely sensational. And um, Buttons, we have Buttons, Buttons Bloom, um, Ben Fox, who you may know as Mr. Bloom more so. Um, I won't mention them all, as I said. Okay, the last one I'll mention. Um, we have Kerry and Andy, um, Kerry Bunnell and Andy Day, who take on the role of Tess and Bruce. And, wow, if you see Andy, it's like, oh dear, a little bit gorgeous. Um, but I absolutely love them as the main presenters of the, of the CBB Strictly. It worked very well and Kerry's dress was to die for. So the cast there is phenomenal, as I said, that that for me, as an older, slightly, kind of a lot, oh, I'm 19, slightly over the target audience age for CBeebies, that element there makes it good for me. Um, the intertextual references for Strictly, you can see there, something the parents watching it will enjoy. I know CBeebies is something that a lot of parents can just put on, plunk the kid in front of the television and then go and do housework or, you know, whatever. Um, but at the same time, you'll find a lot of parents, because, and a lot of, I'm not a parent, obviously, but a lot of parents and a lot of people who are perhaps babysitting kids or just in the room with this child watching CBeebies will engage with it as well. And I think a lot of CBeebies shows, not all of them, I will admit, but a lot of them which are kind of geared towards a slightly older range of target audience, say five to seven, um, a lot of them have elements for the adults. And this one does, there are a couple of little jokes and things which the kids may not get. Um, but that's the same with any panto, which gives the element that it is suitable for the whole family and not just for the two-year-olds, you know. So it is sensational. Um, the Strictly judges are actually in it as well, which is great for Strictly fans. Um, and it is absolutely fantastic. Also, do you know the one bit which absolutely floored me, just because I, I am a huge fan of Chris and Poi. They are one of the greatest TV double acts. Um, they said, show me, show me your groovy moves. Um, you know, because they do show me, show me. If you've never seen show me, show me. It is great. My favourite, show me, show me a diving poi. That is the best line in the history of television. I love it. Um, so there's so much going on there. The story itself, as I said, is a basic linear plot of Cinderella. But it incorporates CBeebies and Strictly and makes it a little bit more unique. It's on for half an hour, which I admit is a, a long time for children to sit and watch a television show. But if they were to go and see an actual panto, it would be on for two hours. So the fact that CBeebies have managed to get this traditional Cinderella story, squashed it down into half an hour, and still keep all of the raw elements in there is pretty sensational. They've done really well with that. Um, and also, obviously, the fact that it is slightly longer than your usual 10, 15 minute CBB show helps the kids start to be able to sit there for a lot longer than what they're used to, focusing on one program and engaging with it and not losing the thought, which, you know, it's just completely sensational. I'm going to try and get hold of um, the other CBB's pantos that were on over previous years. But out of the three Cinderella pantos I've seen within the space of two weeks, this is probably my favourite. <laughs> well, they've all been good, but this one is pretty darn good. Um, yeah, please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on the Cinderella, the Strictly Cinderella. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Even if you think, sure, I'm far too old for that. You're really, really not. It's brilliant fun. Um, so go and check it out. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know who your favourite sort of cast members were, your favourite characters. As I said, I love Dandini and Sid was sensational as Dandini. Baron Hardup and Baroness Bossy Nova were both... Um, Absolutely sensational, Chris and Poi there, and Cinders by Katrina Bri Brian, Brian, um, flawless, really loved it all. Let me know your thoughts, any suggestions for other videos, please let me know, and I will see you all next time. Bye!